Welcome back to ZNN. December 19th is even exam day, December 20th is odd exam day, and December 21st is makeup exams. Christmas break starts December 21st to January 2nd. The students return January 3rd. Unless you miss a midterm, your break will start the 22nd. Performing Arts and Theater Fundraiser Spaghetti Dinner is December 13th. Each organization within the school is putting together a themed Christmas tree. It's going to work like a silent auction. There will be bidding sheets by the Christmas trees for you to put your bid on. Bidding sheets will start December 6th, and they will close at halftime at the boys' basketball game on December 22nd. All of the proceeds are a donation to each individual organization. Last week's birthdays are December 3rd, Chloe Michael, December 4th, Mariah Ginn, December 5th, Jaden Rosser, December 6th, Brooklyn Van Fossen, and December 9th, Donna Ray. This week's birthdays are December 11th, Kale Miller, December 12th, Stacey Lori, December 13th, Michael Wickham, December 14th, Peyton Stewart, December 15th, Danica McCauley, and December 16th, Dar Baker. Happy birthday. So, I am here with Chris Eastat. And what do you teach? Business. Okay. Um, and how long have you been a teacher? Since August. Of this year. Um, where do you see yourself in five years? Right here, except uh, hopefully not with lunch A. Um, so what is your favorite color? Blue. And your favorite food? Seafood. Like lobster, salmon. I, I particularly like salmon with a like a crusted pistachio crust mm -hmm. on it. Yeah, I like that. Um, scallops, shrimp. And, uh, I like sushi, but I only eat sushi as long as it's like it's got to be in the coast. It can't be sushi from the, you know, Ohio mm -hmm. sushi. Not good. Do you play or coach any sports? Well, I don't play cross country, but I do coach cross country. I like to run. I did do sports in high school, football, wrestling, track. I like outdoor sports. I hunt, fish, cut trees down, cut trees down. Hmm. That's a good question. Can you give us a fit check? A uh, fit check, like like my shirt, like push-ups. What do you want? Whatever. I don't know. We'll do push-ups. Okay. And he's still going. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Natural Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Probably Elf. One. What's your favorite Christmas movie? My favorite Christmas movie is probably uh, National Lampoon's uh, Christmas Vacation with Chevy Chase. Classic. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Elf. What's your favorite Christmas movie? The Christmas Story. That's easy. What's your favorite Christmas movie? National Lampoon Christmas Vacation. What's your favorite Christmas movie? National Lampoon's Christmas. I'm Lane Robinson. I'm a junior and I'm the farm manager at Green Acres. My name is Riley Wickwalker. I'm a junior as well and I am currently serving as our FFA chapter secretary. We were at practicing parley for our district parley competition and during the day we went and checked the cows and we noticed Lucy was getting ready to have a calf so we brought her in the barn and so we decided to go check her after parley 
and we noticed that his feet was hanging out of her so we just hung around the farm we went in the classroom and watched it live and like it was very it was a very cool experience because we were in the classroom watching it and we could just go walk like 50 feet and go see the newborn calf this happened at like 9 30 at night so i'm personally really interested in the genetics of livestock i would either like to be a vet a embryologist or a livestock nutritionist and with that being said, there is a lot of biology behind this. So a lot of you guys have sat through Nellie's biology class and you do the Punnett squares and you learn about the genetics and recessive traits and dominant traits. So with Robert being a crossbreed, his mom's an Angus, so he expresses the black trait from the Angus cow. And then he, he also has the white on him, which would be a co-dominant trait with the black because that comes from his Hereford, and Herefords are red and white. So he expresses the black from his mother and the white from his father. So really, I'm as far, the farm manager, I've done a lot of hands-on stuff, and it's like helped me choose my career choice, which is going to be an ag teacher. So I want to be an ag teacher here at Green Acres, and so like I want to teach the kids about how artificial insemination, the embryos, and the natural service. So it helped me learn more about like how I want to teach the kids about it. But this actually fits really well into the design cycle. So this cow, she was first bred using artificial insemination, which you don't have quite the same, you don't have the best probability of them catching as you do with a natural breeding. So whenever she was bred with artificial insemination, she didn't catch. And we needed to get our cows bred, that way they would be having them about this time. And so we used a bull instead to solve that issue, and that worked, and that's how we got Robert. Robert is a bull calf. He is a crossbred preferred Angus. So like for me, I live on a farm, so I like I've seen cows, calves being born, but like we had other people there, such as Skylar Rich, and she's never seen a calf being born, so she was like very surprised. She's a she lives on a goat farm, so she's like it's. It's similar, but it's like different from goats because when a goat's born, you have to be right out there to make sure it's doing okay. But a calf, the mom does it all, so she, so like a person don't have has to be there. And it's actually best to like give the mother cow some space because they get stressed with that like human interaction. So we try to limit that if we can at all help it. So we had we raised a bull calf last year, but we banded him, so he's a steer now. And we had a steer donated to us from the Noble County Fair, and our plan with them is to fatten them up and butcher them for a fundraiser. So Robert will fit right perfect into that in here in like 18 months when he's finished to butchering and then selling for a fundraiser. So the butchering process that's actually a huge part of agriculture. And that'll fit perfectly into the animal science classes that Mr. Matt Wentworth teaches. My last year I took that class and we did it with hogs because each year we have our annual hog roast. But this will give us a different perspective on how that process works with cattle. It's similar, but of course you have different cuts of meat and you get to see that. So that'll be a really fun and interesting learning experience for our students. Welcome to CNN. Stop. <laughs> Do you want me to say no, that? No, I'm not saying that big old thing. I'll anymore. say it. Meow, 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 meow. We're professional. Per girly pop scene, boss.